president eight days after his re-election energized and diving straight into the headlines. At his first press conference today, he talked about the scandal that took down the head of the CIA, the looming fiscal crisis that could raise taxes for everyone on January 1st, and then he came out swinging in defense of one member of his team, and ABC's Jonathan Carl was right there in that room asking questions. John. Diane, this was a confident president today, eager to lay out his agenda for the coming months. But first, he had to face questions on that scandal that has shaken his national security team. In his first comments on the sex scandal that brought down his CIA director, the president said Petraeus failed to meet his own standards, but he also praised him. We are safer because of the work that Dave Petraeus uh, has done. Uh, and my main hope right now is that this ends up being uh, a single side note on uh, what has uh, otherwise been uh, an extraordinary career. He also addressed the central question, did the scandal put national security at risk? I have no evidence at this point, from what I've seen, that uh, classified information uh, was uh, disclosed that in any way would have uh, had a negative impact on our national security. On those high-stake talks over the looming budget crisis, the so president took a hard tax. line on his bottom line. Any deficit deal must include tax increases on the wealthy. More voters agreed with me on this issue than voted for me. So we've got a clear majority of the American people who recognize if we're going to be serious about deficit reduction, we've got to do it in a balanced way. There was a real flash of presidential anger on the topic of the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. Earlier today, Republicans John McCain and Lindsey Graham lashed out at Susan Rice, the leading candidate to replace Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, because she initially suggested the attack began as a protest. Why would Susan Rice not get our vote? I don't trust her. We put that to the president. Senator Graham said he simply doesn't trust Ambassador Rice after what she said about Benghazi. If Senator McCain and Senator Graham and others want to go after somebody, they should go after me. But for them to go after the UN ambassador, who had nothing to do with Benghazi, and to, to besmirch her reputation, is outrageous. In a blistering response to that, Senator Graham issued a statement a short while ago directly to the president saying, quote, don't think for one minute that I don't hold you responsible. I think you failed as a commander in chief before, during, and after the attack. In other words, Diane, this battle is just beginning.